Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on a prank over at Rendog's base where essentially we turned Rendog into a cat. From Rendog into Red Cat. So if you want to see Rendog as a cat, go and check out the previous episode. But anyways guys, I think today what we're going to do is of course we're going to start off today with a hashtag Ask Jarvis question. So we'll just make our way right on over here. There's Dracula hanging out in the window again. And we'll make our way down here and ask Jarvis a question. I think today we're mostly going to be working on Llama Land, and what is this thing? To whom it may concern, Jarvis has been compromised. A team has been dispatched to fix the problem as soon as possible. Until then, this is a crime scene. Do not enter Garden Ramsey. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, okay. So, apparently we will not, we will not be asking Jarvis anything because he has been compromised. Quite a number of people have been telling me he's been compromised, and I've noticed some odd spellings in the way, yeah, the, he he answers. So I mean, it makes sense. It's 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 been kind of suspect for a while now. Ever since Isuma uh, went back and altered with them, things have been weird. But he has now been compromised, as confirmed by Garden. So yeah, uh, I guess yeah, we'll have to wait and see when the when the hashtag Ask Jarvis questions will come back. But um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. That's that's troubling. Anyways, guys, I think today we're going to go ahead and head out to Llama Land and work out there. So let me go ahead and head on up the stairs. We'll call down our elevator and we'll head on out there. However, guys, before I go ahead and go to Llama Land today, we want to catch up with Tango real quick. Uh, Tango is currently building a evil base out by uh, by spawn, pretty close, close to spawn. And he's actually run out of netherrack. Uh, if you guys recall, back on the early days of the server... We actually gave him, like, I think close to, like, 85,000 or 90,000 netherrack. Uh, and then Iskol gave him some, Ren gave him some, and he's run out again, I believe. Um, so I want to see this epic base completed, and also maybe want to get, like, a little bit of a base tour. So let's go ahead, and we're going to grab some shulker boxes full of netherrack. All these shulker boxes here full of netherrack. And we're going to give these to Tango to help him with his base. So I'll meet you guys back out at Tango's base. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> What's up, Gummy? What's up, man? Long time no see. I was just gonna say, long time no see. Too long, too long. Way too long, way too long, man. This this base stuff has happened here, man. Stuff, stuff has, has happened. happened. Stuff has happened. Stuff has definitely happened. Yes. Jeez. I say we're like ninety percent done here. You just mad man? <laughs> yeah, this is this is looking great, man. Um, well, thank you, thank you. I, I heard I heard you were you were hurting for some nether rack though. You needed a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I I think I had seventy two shulkers and that's gone. And Joe Hills just gave me like twenty today and that's gonna be gone real soon. So yeah. It's it's yeah, I need a lot of nether rack. Between the actual placement of another rack and then getting and like smelting all this nether brick here is just insane. My smelter is constantly running. Yeah, these giant towers and other brick are super expensive. This is yep. <laughs> this is insane, man. I all right, so I, I got I got some nether rack for you. Um, okay. But I, can you can you like give me a tour of like what's changed around here? Because like this I whole tower can. and stuff. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a while since you've been here. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll give you the the outskirts tour first, and then we'll go up into the center area. All right, all right. So these are my. Of course, I'm doing like the whole evil base thing evil lava base here and it's it's working out i think yeah yeah red red um, and evil and lava yeah it's exactly great. exactly all the good stuff now the entire base is built on a quad witch hut farm but you wouldn't even know it because they're just totally buried now but they are fully functional wait 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 wait. is there is there a witch hut in this thing yeah here come over here what <laughs> no way not inside underneath oh underneath okay right. ah i see and I'm gonna cover all this up with netherrack and stuff, but they're all fully functional, and I have my per you know perfect AFK spot and everything all picked out and everything. So Sweet. they're still working, and they've given me infinite resources, which has been quite nice. Nice, yeah, tons of redstone and glowstone and a bunch of Gun stuff. Powder and oh, everything. Man. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they got these towers here, and there's basically four farms on each side. I have a uh, what is it, pumpkin melon farm over here. I have a little potion brewing stand. I have a sugar cane farm and a cactus farm, and they're all enclosed in these four ba major towers. I've got three done. I've got one more to go. Sweet. Sweet. This is Pretty amazing. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the whole like the whole style of it. It's just really great. Yep. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with it. So the centerpiece is obviously the main spire there, which took me forever to build that thing, but super yep. happy with how that thing came out. Uh so basically it's a it's a an elevator there. Like 
all of the quad witch hut drops and all the farm drops all go underground through like a waterway system and go up through a central elevator in the middle of that spire and go all the way up into my base automatically oh, into man. bulk storage and everything yeah it's pretty cool that's insane yeah so this is oh there's the there's some of the hidden stuff back there yeah i got you there's the elevator and stuff you can see just through the uh, fence there yep yep i will probably finish off below there or maybe i might just put redstone behind her or something to close it off but yeah yeah sweet dude man this this, this like feels like you're in the nether right here like <laughs> i know doesn't it <laughs> so cool so hop up, so cool. Hop up here all right, let's hop on up. Whoop, this look is out. the whoa, careful. It's I'm dangerous good. base, I'm good. by the way. You, you do have a, uh, a fire resist potion on you, right? Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. <laughs> Might want to be careful because it's very easy to burn yourself out here. Okay, I see. There's also like faces in this in this yes. thing right here. I'm big on evil faces. They're kind of all over the place. There's like three or four in the bases. Those big towers on the side. Uh, there's four, there's, uh, faces in those, there's faces here, and then there's faces up on the top thing and everything, which you'll see in a second. Okay, okay. So right here is my AFK spot, right here. If you stand inside that door there on top of that, that's, like, the perfect spot for the, uh, the quad, which has to all just barely be active. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Very nice. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go up to the top. And, you know, the, the whole tower itself is just, like I said, just aesthetics. There's really nothing. It's just to cover up the elevator. Gotcha. And then what is this green stuff here, like, going around here? This is my tectoplasm. That uh, The idea is that I'm kind of harvesting it from the ground. You'll see there's, like, some green fissures in the ground in random places. Oh, yep. And gotcha. the idea is this is, like, this green energy that's being pulled up and harvested uh, through some of these uh, side structures and then up through the central tower. I actually got to finish wrapping it around and then it goes up to the top and turns into like a smoke goes into the four processing towers and then up into like a vortex into a crystal up at the top oh yeah nice very nice yeah sweet all right let's see i'm up at uh i'm up the storage area now where you okay. <laughs> it's coming, so, in, coming in it's so big that like you can get lost in this thing by the way uh <laughs> what is this ice castle out here this is looking great i don't know i don't know what that is but it's gonna get blown up <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, no, I, that, that was one of my favorite features of the whole place. Dang. I know. <laughs> I, th I, thought, I, I, thought you had like, I thought you had like a fire and ice type thing going on here, but... Uh, no, 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 just fire. Okay. Some, some trolls came around and, and pranked me. Yeah, it wasn't Oh, nice man. Then. Man, those guys must have been pretty ballsy to do that, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is my fully sorted storage room. I have a tutorial for this one on my channel, so... Basically, just put things in over here, and it goes through the whole system and sorts everything out, and puts it in the appropriate chest. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it. I'm putting chicken in. No, she's so you're gonna actually put it to work. Yep, yep. We gotta <laughs> see. Probably, so it's one of those designs where you gotta like leave no holes in the chest, and I've been bad. I've, I've put no holes in the chest. Ah, everywhere. okay. <laughs> so you might find 20 chicken in there, just just so you know. Right, that's then. that's where right. it came from. <laughs> but then, if you look down, there's my uh, bulk storage, which you can come down here and check out. All right. Yep. No problem. So all the items that come up from the elevator down below, they're put into all of these chests automatically here. So you can see a lot of the witch drops and then other things and potatoes, carrots, all the, all the farms I have around the area. They all come in here automatically. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is nice having it all centralized like this and all mm -hmm. sorted and everything. Yeah. Yep. Go all that redstone. <laughs> I open like up, I open up of... redstone here and it's just like, boom! <laughs> all the redstone you <laughs> <Infinite>. ever need. <laughs> Infinite. And then, yeah, back here we got our super smelter, which is basically running 24-7 there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smelting all, and it's stick-powered, so it's sticks that power the, uh, the sticks from the witch farm power the furnace. It's oh, stickled. free fuel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. very nice. And this, I'm assuming, is Joe's nether rank Joe's contribution. Contribution today, yeah, I'm actively trying to smelt all this down. Okay, okay, well, I have some for you as well, man. Excellent. Let me, uh, let me give you some of these. I'm just going to toss them at you. So I have to make sure I'm not close to lava here. There we go. Okay. So I got I think 15 shulker boxes full of another rack. All uh all dyed red, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> I, I appreciate the red touch. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, man. Yeah, I'm Excellent, looking forward man. to seeing this thing finish though. This is gonna be this is it, awesome. It's getting there. It's getting there. I got a little bit of towers. I got the main entryway, and then a little bit of a little bit of touch up here and there, and I'll be done. All right, we forgot one thing, Tango. We forgot one what thing. Is it? What is Very it? What is it? critically important thing. Uh -huh. You have achieved something this season that you may or may not be aware of. <gasps> Do you know what it is, maybe? No. Maybe? Hit, no, 5K hit, Club? Hit the tab button, yep. Yep, you got it. 5K Club. 5K Club, oh. and as a member of the 5K Club, you get a uh, 5K Club Elytra. 
post in your base Ooh, somewhere. 5k club. This, is make, this makes up for the one that I uh, burnt in lava last night. <laughs> there you go, man. There you go, yeah. Thank you Absolutely. so much, man. Absolutely, man. So welcome it. to the club. So, You're one of five five members. It's good? it's Scar, myself, False, and TFC, and now you. I'm honored. Very exclusive. So honored. Very exclusive, man. Yes, so yes. all 5k club activities you're going to be involved in from now on. So. Excellent. Excellent. I look forward to them. All right, Is man. Is like a secret handshake or something or what? There, there's, a, there's a secret base in a volcanic lair. So if you come oh. upon it, if you want to see it, just give me a message anytime. I can take you there. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the community area. And before we head to Llama Land, I want to check my shop just to make sure, see if we have any orders at the Splash of Color shop. Let's just make our way right on in here. See what we see what we got. Excuse me. The, oh, a hello zombie. You want to place an order here? Not today, my friend. Not ever. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so no orders in the Splash of Color shop. Um, yeah, that was kind of crazy that he walked over and we almost fell into our own system. But there we go. Should change the floor back. Yep, cool. Okay, so let's make our way down to... Llama land, so we'll just head on down this way and in to here. There we go. Okay, let's just go on in here. There goes the llama on the llama coaster. And so guys, a lot of you left some really great ideas about what we're going to put here in llama lane, uh, is what I'm calling it. But basically the idea with this is, the thing we're going to build today, llama lane, the idea with this is we want to have essentially llamas in a whole bunch of different situations, uh, both comical and uh, like in-game situations. So a lot of you guys left some really great feedback on, uh, not last episode, but the episode before last about that. So we're going to make some of those dreams a reality today, guys. So that should be pretty awesome. First thing I want to do, though, I want to dig out an area here. I want to put a giant llama head that you walk in to get into llama lane. So like this is going to be us entering like the mouth of a big llama right here. Uh, and I also want to dig out, like, the whole area behind here, uh, because it's going to be a big spot. We're going to put, like, maybe 10 or 12 of these, uh, of these, like, segments into, into Llama Land. So, yeah, this is going to be by far the biggest expansion in Llama Land so far. So, yeah, I say we go ahead and get to it, guys. Let's go ahead and get digging. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We now have a small area dug out here, as you can see. And the plan for this area is as follows. We're going to have a giant llama here that eats us, essentially. Um, so we're going to want something like the llama the llama snout, this thing right here. So if I zoom in, yeah, you can see it's four pixels wide. And if you count each pixel as a block, we need four blocks to represent that. So that's going to be this area here. And then a two wide gap is going to open uh, in the llama snout. And then we can just basically walk through to llama lane back here. So we're going to have like a little door uh, in, in the llama's face, basically, right here. And this eight block wide bit, that is the, that's the whole, like, llama, llama structure right here. Like, the whole llama head, basically. Um, so that sort of gives you a sense of scale. Like, the llama head's gonna be up like this, and the snout's gonna be, like, right here. So that's sort of the scale we're looking at. Then once we get through the llama's mouth, we're gonna come over here, and this will be llama lane. I'm currently planning for this to be eight blocks wide. So eight blocks wide, and then... I think it's like seven blocks tall right here. And then it's going to sort of like curve down that way and curve down this way. And this is where we're going to house all the different um, things, but with llamas. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, I want to have at least 10 displays with llamas. So I need to make this quite a bit longer. And we have like 200 llamas up there we need to fit in there. Um, so that's going to be like, you know, a, a whole like herd of llamas about this size in each display so yeah we have a lot of work to do so i'm actually going to go ahead and set up a beacon because i don't think the beacons in the community area actually reach this far back into the mountain i'm just going to check and see nope definitely do not so yeah we're going to need to get ourselves a beacon going here so i'm going to go ahead and start to place down some blocks of iron and I also have a beacon and an iron ingot so let's go ahead and set up a beacon here and make the rest of this tunnel down this direction.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we now have ourselves a long tunnel dug out, and this is where we're going to put Llama Lane. Uh, so right here, this is where we're standing is going to be Llama Lane, basically. I like to continue the same pattern of the dirt and the grass and the foliage we have in here. So like this type of, uh, of pattern right here. I like to continue that inside of Llama Lane. And the idea with this is that we're going to have a bunch of llama scenes in the walls here. So essentially we're going to have... Like, the lane, this is going to be an elevated lane, by the way, so it's going to go down by, I think, two blocks here, one or two blocks here. So, like, this will be down like this, and then this will be at this level here. And then we'll have probably another two blocks or so, and then starting at, on this, this block here will be sort of where we put the llamas themselves. Uh, like, the pen that houses the llamas. And, of course, we're going to decorate all these pens because that's how we're going to sell the llamas. So all these llamas in here will be for sale. Um, so, yeah, putting them in the scenes makes it a little bit more interesting and, you know, grabs people's attention. So that's how we're going to sell llamas. <laughs> At least that's the idea. That's the idea. We'll see if we actually do sell any. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, right, I think that now we have to sort of figure out the spacing. I've started to do that a little bit here. I'm thinking the pens we're going to hold the llama in, the llamas in, are going to be roughly like eight blocks deep by ten blocks wide. By probably like five to seven blocks tall, somewhere in that range. Um, so it's going to be like we're going to look down into the, into the scenes from this lane. I think it should be a pretty cool thing. And then we'll have like pillars sort of separating the, the areas, the different scenes. So like three wide pillars here going up and then over. Um, like that. I think that'll be a pretty cool, pretty cool build. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on digging here. Uh, still have a lot to dig out here, but we are at diamond level here actually. And I have gotten a couple of diamonds. So we got some diamond ore and some other diamonds. Um, so that's great. So let's go ahead and dig in here and yeah, we'll keep going with this llama land, llama lane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You can see we've had a lot more progress happen here. We've now dug out each of the areas where we're going to have the llama showcases. So these, each one of these rooms is going to be a different showcase for llamas in various scenarios. Um, so yeah, you can see we have 12 of these right here. In between all of the different rooms, we also have some pillars I've built up out of some andesites, some stone brick, some gravel, and some cracked stone brick, among other blocks. And so those pillars are going to be what holds up the roof above us. So that should be pretty interesting. I'm still debating if I want to lower this whole thing down one block. So be looking at this level instead of up here. But we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I might actually just cut out yet another row. Like right here. Something like this. Could work. So we'll have just a two wide gap here. I don't know. We'll have to see about this. But something like that could possibly work. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to lower it. Yeah, I'm going to lower it down right here. So it's just going to be at this level right here. So that should work quite well. Uh, as for the roof, I think I'm going to go with a similar roof to what we have in Llama Land over here. So just a dirt and stone roof, similar to what we got here a little bit. And then in the front here, I think we need to go ahead and start to build the llama face. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and build the llama face right here. Try and fill out this area on the bottom over here and on the side and on the roof. And we'll see what it's looking like. Welcome back to the world of llamas and crafting, guys. So we're here in Llama Land once again. You can see we have our llama face up. And this llama face is actually anatomically correct, if you can believe it. Uh, I know it looks a little bit weird, but yeah, that's actually how the llama faces are. If we look real closely here, uh, let's see if we can get a close-up on this face. Yeah, there we go. You can see the eyes are indeed right next to the snout, and the eyebrows are right next to the eyes as well. This guy is staring into my soul right now, but I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, we actually got this thing anatomically correct. I think I will need to add the ears on here, though, because it looks a little bit weird with just, like, the llama face there only and no, like, ears to sort of define it and, like, set it back a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's something I may have to do. Uh, but, yeah, for now, this is our llama face. So, soak it in. Love it. Appreciate it. And, yeah, basically... This mouth is a little bit open here. We can make it open ourselves by stepping on these pressure plates. And then we can just go on through just like this. And it'll close right behind us. See, these pressure plates also open it from this side. 
And once we're inside the llama mouth, inside the snout, um, we have this. Welcome to Llama Facts, the amazing factual llama wall. So we have a couple of llama facts here. Uh, these are meant to sort of encourage people to buy a llama. So we have llama fact number one. Llamas can be used as defense against wolves. So, of course, they spit at wolves. So that's true. Llama fact number two. Llamas can store up to 25,920 items per llama. So, yeah, you can store 15 shulker boxes in any llama with a chest on it. So that's also true. And then llama fact number three. Llamas can form caravans up to 10 llamas strong. So, yeah, 10 llamas is the limit of a llama caravan. Um, which means you can actually store like a quarter million items, over a quarter million items, if you have um, 10 llamas with 15 slots apiece and put shulker boxes and all those. So, yeah, llamas actually can, can store quite a lot of, uh, of items and also provide defense. So once you learn all that, you know, you got to sit down here, absorb the knowledge, and then you have to answer a question here to go into llama lane. The question is, will you be purchasing a llama today? Your choices are no or yes, I can't wait to buy a llama. So you hit if you yes, then you hit this bottom button. If no, uh, you hit this top button. So let's just say for the sake of argument, let's just say I, I don't think anybody will actually choose this option ever because, you know, once they learn all the facts about the llamas, they're like, heck yes, I can't wait to buy a llama. They're going to hit this bottom button. But let's just say somebody hit no. What, what would happen? What would happen? So the floor opens up and they are booted out of llama land. So they are now put down by bedrock and they're putting this, this hallway here with no real way to get back up. Um, so yeah, then they're forced to read the signs. Of course, the signs say you should have bought a llama, go back and buy a llama. So <laughs> it basically kicks them out and sends them off into the community area um yeah underneath of like a bridge area right here which actually looks great i have to say um so yeah this area looks pretty amazing right here um but yeah they ki they're kicked out of llama land and they get put into this little tunnel here where they have to read the signs tell them to go back and buy a llama at llama land so then they just sort of come out this way make their way back to llama land and now knowing that they've made a mistake they come back into the llama head like this and, of course, they've learned their lesson. They want to come back now and buy a llama. They understand they'll get kicked out if they hit no. So they come back. Yes, I can't wait to buy a llama. And there you go. P oh, door opens. It plays a little chime with the xylophone. And they're now free to enter llama land. So, yeah, kind of an interesting thing there. And then once we come back out, like once they leave, then the door closes behind them, uh, as does this door if I step off these pressure plates. So yeah, there we go. That is how you get into Llama Land. You have to answer, will you be purchasing a llama today? Yes, I can't wait. And the door opens and plays a little chime. So there you have it, guys. That's how you get into Llama Land. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. I've also started to work on the entrance area right here a little bit. So I just put a couple blocks down here. Uh, this is all subject to change, though, and I also put down some, uh, yeah, some, some grass and some podzole and some coarse dirt uh, to start to get ready to make, you know, the whole thing here, uh, the llama lane, like, come to, come to life, essentially. So anyways, guys, we got a lot done this episode. We got this whole area here dug out. We caught up with Tango a little bit. This area is a little bit dark. Let me just light that up right there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be working on this a lot throughout the next week or so, so please do leave your comments about what themes we could go for in these showcase rooms right here. I've already decided a few of them, but there are still a few slots left open, so if you guys have a good idea for a theme, do let me know. But anyways, that will be it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.